and everything that we're making today is as easy as pie because we're, we're making pies. And I always believe that you can turn down any dessert any dessert, but you must never turn down another slice of pie. My sister from another mister, Caitlin. Good morning. How are you this morning? I'm always good when I'm in the kitchen. Oh, <laughs> I, I, I actually agree with you because we're making delicious things. Today we're making an almond cherry pavlova pie. Oh, it's a mouthful. Because she never does anything in like <laughs> tiny measures. She always goes to the next level. What do we need for our recipe today? So it's basically a short crust pastry on the okay. bottom filled with a cherry filling topped with meringue and almonds and we put that in the oven so it's nice and it's almost like a lemon meringue but with cherries in it. I love it but there's so many healthy things. There's almonds, healthy for you, good for your skin. There's cherries, it's a fruit. <laughs> wow, I love it. I totally taught you well. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start with the pastry. Okay. Um, so I've got some softened butter here that I'm just going to cream. It's 125 grams that we're going to be using and mm -hmm. it needs to be nice and soft Yes. I because you're going to need to, to cream it nicely together and then we've got half a cup of salati Cast the snow. All right. So we're using the cast of snow today because it's nice and fine and it dissolves mm. into the butter quite easily. Okay, that's so that's half cool. a cup. Then we've got, so we're just going to cream that together nicely. All right. And this pastry recipe is so super easy. You know, normally with pastry, you have to roll it out and you've got yeah. the, the baking paper and the beans and you blind baking and then you're taking it out. It's a whole big mission. Yeah. This is Zola's recipe. I like actually, that. And you just press it in and you bake it. Her words, this pastry recipe has literally saved lives. Really? I'm not so sure. I don't know if she has um, evidence of that. Wow. But, uh, okay. I'll believe it. I'll take her word we for it. We will take her word for it. And when we taste, it, the proof will be there. Yes. Okay. So we've got an egg going in. All right. Just like that. And you're going to mix that together nicely. Okay. So I'm so happy that this is easy because like making a puff pastry is something that I usually just gravitate away from. And I... I, I, I I'd want to buy it more than actually make it myself, but this is so easy. Well, pastry is quite tricky, but this recipe is nice and simple. And a, and a pie recipe should never be more difficult than actually eating the pie. There we go. Easy as pie. Yeah. Okay. So we've got some baking powder in here. Yeah. And some cake flour. Okay. Don't worry about sifting it because we're not incorporating air here. Awesome. And then we're just going to mix it together and it's going to form a nice dough. And then you're just going to press it into a pie dish like yeah. I've done here. Okay. So this is... I mean, I, I like to use a pie dish because mm. it has it's a pie. Yeah. But you can use a quiche dish if you want. All you right. can use a baking dish. That's also fine. Anything like that. So, so it's also even easy in how you're going to present it eventually. Exactly. Because then you don't have to unmold it and worry yeah. about it breaking. Okay. So I've just pressed it in here. I've made little indents, pricked it with a fork mm -hmm. just so that when it bakes, all the steam escapes. Okay. And it's nice and golden. Nice. Then we go to our filling. All right. So I've got some cherries. These are tin cherries, you can use fresh as well. And then I've got some cornstarch, it's just gonna thicken it. Okay. A little bit of lemon juice and some cinnamon. Delicious. With a little bit of flavor. And I've got some almond extract here. Oh, wow. Because almonds and cherries go so well together. Okay. And we're using the Salati White Show. Okay. It's white white sugar, sugar, not mm -hmm. white snow. <laughs> <laughs> just for a bit of sweetness. And you're gonna heat that and just cook it out until it's nice and thick. So okay, we'll get that wonderful. going. And what do you want the cherries, the consistency of the cherries to be? Should they be soft or should there still be a little bit of a bite to them? Well, this is just going to take a few minutes because you want, you, it's just gloss. The, okay. cookies, the, the cherries are already cooked, so it's, it's all done. All right. And then we've got meringue over here, which nice. I've whipped our egg whites until nice and soft peak stage. Uh -huh. And I'm just going to add our... Some more cast to snow in there. snow. This, again, this is the fine texture okay. to, to dissolve easily. And that's going to give us our beautiful meringue topping over there. And it's so much easier with a mixer. Nice. So I don't have to do anything. So yeah. once you've completed that, uh, the cherries are done. You pop them into our little casing over here. Yep. And then, of course, the meringue goes on top. top of the meringue, top. it goes into an oven at 190 degrees Celsius. Yeah. Until it's beautiful and golden on top. And voila. Voila. And then you've got fresh cherries, I see, as well. Well, yeah, because you need, you need, you can never have enough cherries. Never. Well, will you cut that up for us? If you would like to make this delicious almond cherry pavlova pie, all you have to do is SMS the keyword SALATI to 33728. We'll send you your shopping list and, of course, the list of ingredients, and then you can be making this yourself. It's delicious. It's easy as pie. Easy to make it, as you saw. We're going to take a quick ad break. When we return, we've got your express news, your sport, your traffic, and your weather, and, of course, a slice of pie to make the deal even sweeter. The sweetness lingers longer with another delicious recipe brought to you by Salati.